In the quiet corridors of esoteric knowledge, there exists a timeless wisdom that has intrigued and captivated seekers for centuries, the hidden teachings of the Rosicrucians. These ancient guardians of mysterious secrets claim to hold the key to a power so profound it can shape and control reality itself. As we embark on this journey into the heart of their hermetic doctrines, prepare to unlock the doors of perception and explore the mysteries that have long eluded the grasp of ordinary understanding. From the shadows of antiquity to the present day, the Rosicrucians have been shrouded in an aura of mystique. Their teachings, rooted in the hermetic tradition, promise a path to understanding the fundamental principles that govern the universe. But what is it about these esoteric doctrines that beckon the curious minds of those who seek more than the mundane explanations life offers? Imagine a world where the ordinary rules of reality are mere suggestions, waiting to be rewritten by those initiated into the secrets of Hermeticism. This tantalizing prospect has drawn philosophers, alchemists and truth-seekers through the ages. It is a call to explore the very fabric of existence, to peer behind the veil of the mundane and glimpse the profound truths that underpin reality. To grasp the essence of the Rosicrucian teachings, one must delve into the annals of history where the enigma of their origins unfolds. Emerging in the early 17th century with the publication of manifestos attributed to the mysterious fraternity of the Rosy Cross, the Rosicrucians signaled a departure from conventional wisdom. Their symbol arose at the center of a cross whispered of hidden meanings and sacred knowledge. As the whispers of the Rosicrucian legacy spread, so did tales of adepts possessing the ability to manipulate reality itself. At its core, an adept is someone who's really good at practicing the special skills and knowledge of hermetic alchemy. The allure of such power, couched in the wisdom of the hermetic arts, became a beacon for those who sought more than the superficial truths offered by the world. The enigmatic origins of the Rosicrucians cast a shadowy veil over their early history, leaving seekers of knowledge intrigued and captivated. While the manifestos attributed to the fraternity of the Rosy Cross appeared in the early 17th century, the roots of this mysterious order may extend much further back in time. Some historians trace the lineage of the Rosicrucians to ancient Egyptian mysticism, where the pursuit of hidden wisdom was a cherished endeavor. The symbol of the Rose and Cross, though adopted by the Rosicrucians, had earlier associations with esoteric traditions in various cultures. In ancient Egypt, the rose represented the unfolding of spiritual consciousness, while the cross symbolized the intersection of the earthly and the divine. While the identity of the founder remains veiled, the influence of the Rosicrucian movement on the cultural landscape of the time is undeniable. The teachings propagated by the Fraternity of the Rosy Cross spoke to a longing for a more profound connection with the mysteries of the universe. The symbolic language employed in their manifestos served as a bridge between the tangible and the intangible, inviting initiates to explore the hidden realms of knowledge. Central to the Rosicrucian teachings are the three pillars of Hermeticism, the principle of correspondence, the principle of vibration, and the principle of mentalism. These pillars form the bedrock of understanding through which the adept gains mastery over the subtle forces that weave the tapestry of existence. The principle of correspondence teaches that there is a harmony between the realms of the macrocosm and the microcosm, that which is above is like that which is below, as above, so below, as within, so without. This principle invites the seeker to recognize the interconnectedness of all things, laying the foundation for a profound comprehension of the universe's intricate web. Delving deeper into the principle of correspondence, it unfolds as a universal law governing the relationship between different planes of existence. Its roots can be traced back to ancient times when philosophers and sages observed the patterns and rhythms of nature. They marveled at the symmetry between the grand celestial bodies above and the minutest particles below. 
This principle, though ancient, holds timeless relevance, providing a lens through which to perceive the world's unity. The concept of as above, so below, as within, so without, implies a beautiful simplicity. Imagine looking into a still pond on a calm day where the reflection of the sky mirrors the heavens above. In much the same way, the principle suggests that the happenings in one realm correspond to those in another. It's like the ebb and flow of the tides mirroring the rhythmic breath of an individual. This understanding, while seemingly poetic, carries profound implications for those seeking to fathom the mysteries of existence. In history, this principle found expression in various cultures. Ancient Egyptian beliefs in the interconnectedness of the physical and spiritual realms, as symbolized by the Ankh, reflect an early acknowledgement of correspondence. Similarly, in ancient China, the concept of yin and yang illustrated the balance and interdependence between opposites. These cultural expressions echo a shared human intuition about the interconnected nature of the universe. Moving forward in time, the Renaissance period witnessed a resurgence of interest in Hermeticism and its principles. Thinkers like Giordano Bruno and Marsilio Ficino explored the idea that the microcosm of an individual mirrors the macrocosm of the universe. This revival marked a bridge between ancient wisdom and the emerging scientific thought of the time. Fast forward to today, and the principle of correspondence continues to inspire seekers of knowledge. From quantum physics to holistic healing practices, the principle resonates in various fields of study. Scientific discoveries revealing the microscopic world's reflection of cosmic patterns affirm the ancient wisdom encapsulated in correspondence. In tandem, the principle of vibration illuminates the dynamic nature of the cosmos. It posits that everything is in a constant state of motion, vibrating at its unique frequency. By attuning oneself to these vibrations, the adept gains the ability to influence and shape the energies that surround them, transcending the limitations of the material world. At the heart of the principle of vibration lies a profound understanding that resonates through the teachings of the ancient mystic and philosopher Hermes Trismegistus. Often hailed as the thrice great, Hermes is a legendary figure whose wisdom has traversed the boundaries of time, leaving an indelible mark on various esoteric traditions. Hermes, a mythical figure combining the attributes of the Greek god Hermes and the Egyptian god Thoth, is credited with the creation of the Hermetic Corpus, a collection of writings that delve into the mysteries of the universe. Within these ancient texts, Hermes expounds on the concept of vibration, offering insights that echo through the ages. According to Hermes, the universe is a vast symphony of vibrations, each note contributing to the cosmic melody. He likens these vibrations to the strings of a celestial instrument, resonating with the harmonies of creation. In simple terms, Everything in existence, from the smallest particle to the grandest galaxy, is in perpetual motion, vibrating in a dance of cosmic rhythms. By contemplating the principle of vibration, one begins to grasp the interconnectedness of all things. Hermes invites the seeker to recognize the subtle threads that weave through the fabric of reality, connecting the seen and the unseen. In this dance of vibrations, there is no isolation, Instead, there is an intricate interplay where each movement influences the whole. Practically, Hermes suggests that individuals can attune themselves to these vibrations through introspection and contemplation. Just as a musician tunes an instrument to produce harmonious sounds, the adept tunes their consciousness to align with the universal vibrations. This attunement opens the doorway to a heightened awareness allowing the seeker to perceive the underlying currents of existence. However, it is the principle of mentalism that unveils the most potent secret of all, the mind as the ultimate creator of reality. According to this principle, the universe is a mental construct, a manifestation of the cosmic mind. Mastery over one's thoughts, emotions and intentions becomes the key to unlocking the ability to shape and control the very fabric of existence. In understanding mentalism, it is essential to explore the work of Alan Pavio, a psychologist whose research delves into the realms of cognition and mental representation. 
Ivo's dual coding theory proposes that the mind uses both verbal and non-verbal systems to represent information. In simpler terms, this means that our thoughts can be categorized into two main types, words and images. Words are the linguistic representations we use to express and communicate ideas. However, Pivio suggests that our minds also create non-verbal representations through images, sensory experiences and emotions. These non-verbal representations contribute significantly to our understanding of the world around us. For instance, when we think about an apple, our mind not only processes the word apple, but also conjures up mental images, memories of the taste, and perhaps even the associated emotions related to the fruit. This dual nature of mental representation has profound implications for the principle of mentalism. If our thoughts and mental images are the building blocks of reality, then the way we encode and process information in our minds directly influences the world we perceive. Pivio's theory aligns with the idea that the mind is not only a passive receiver of external stimuli, but an active creator of its own reality. Consider for a moment the impact of positive or negative thoughts on our daily experiences. If one harbors positive thoughts, the mind tends to create a more optimistic mental environment, influencing perceptions and interactions with the external world. On the contrary, negative thoughts can color our experiences with a darker hue, shaping our reality in a way that reflects our internal mental state. This concept is not just theoretical, it finds practical application in various aspects of life, from personal well-being to goal achievement. The principle of mentalism, when coupled with Paivio's insights, encourages individuals to become conscious creators of their reality by actively managing their thoughts and mental imagery. As we embark on this exploration of the Rosicrucian's hermetic teachings, we find ourselves standing at the threshold of a realm where the boundaries between the seen and the unseen blur. The journey into the mysteries of the Rosicrucian legacy promises not only a profound understanding of the universe, but also the elusive knowledge that grants the adept the power to control reality itself. Join us in the next part of this video as we unravel the secrets of the ancient fraternity of the Rosy Cross and embark on a quest for the wisdom that transcends the ordinary and opens the gates to extraordinary possibilities. Having glimpsed the foundational principles of Hermeticism, we now delve deeper into the Rosicrucian teachings, navigating the inner cosmos where the adept learns to wield the forces that govern reality. In the crucible of hermetic alchemy, the adept embarks on the transformative process of self-discovery, a journey likened to the transmutation of base metals into gold. The alchemical quest of the Rosicrucian is not limited to the external world, but extends inward, where the adept seeks to refine and elevate the essence of their being. The origins of alchemy can be traced back to ancient civilizations where the alchemists' pursuit of transformation mirrored the growth of civilizations themselves. While the true origins are shrouded in the mists of time, alchemy found its fertile ground in the Hellenistic Egypt of the 3rd and 4th centuries. The allure of alchemy was not confined to the realms of philosophy and spirituality, it held a practical aspect too. Alchemists were often sought after by notable historical figures, not for their mystical pursuits alone, but for their supposed ability to transmute base metals into gold. In the medieval courts of Europe, rulers and monarchs were drawn to the promise of alchemical secrets that could potentially fill their coffers with untold riches. One such historical figure fascinated by the alchemical arts was none other than Holy Roman Emperor Rudolf II. In the late 16th century, Rudolf II, a man known for his keen interest in the occult and esoteric knowledge, actively patronized alchemists in his quest for the elusive philosopher's stone, believing that the transmutation of base metals into gold was not just a fanciful notion, Rudolf II enlisted the services of skilled alchemists who claimed to possess the coveted knowledge. Despite numerous endeavors, 
the emperor's dreams of unlimited wealth through alchemy remained elusive. The Medicis, a powerful Italian family, also delved into the world of alchemy during the Renaissance. Cosimo de' Medici, a prominent figure of his time, supported alchemists in the pursuit of both material wealth and spiritual enlightenment. The allure of turning base metals into gold was a tempting prospect, and the Medici family invested in alchemical experiments with the hope of financial gain. Just as the alchemist refines raw materials to extract the hidden gold within, the Rosicrucian adept purifies their thoughts, emotions and intentions to reveal the divine spark within. The crucible of self-awareness becomes a sacred vessel, and the fires of inner alchemy burn away impurities, leaving behind a purified soul ready to engage with the mysteries of the cosmos. As the adept refines their inner being, they unlock the gateway to the astral realm, the ethereal dimension that bridges the material and the spiritual. In the astral plane, the laws of the mundane world no longer hold sway. Here, consciousness becomes a vehicle for exploration, transcending the limitations of the physical body. Journeying through the astral realm, the adept gains access to hidden knowledge encounters otherworldly entities and hones their ability to manipulate the energetic threads that weave reality together. It is in this intangible realm that the Rosicrucian adept acquires the skills necessary to navigate and ultimately control the subtle forces that shape existence. Central to the Rosicrucian teachings is the understanding of sacred geometry as the blueprint of creation. In the geometric patterns that underlie the fabric of reality, the adept discerns the hidden order that governs the cosmos. By attuning their consciousness to these archetypal forms, the adept gains the ability to manipulate the very structure of existence. Sacred geometry is not merely an abstract concept, but a living language that speaks to the interconnectedness of all things. The adept learns to harness the power of symbols and shapes, using them as keys to unlock the secrets of the universe. Through the understanding and manipulation of these geometric archetypes, the adept assumes the role of a cosmic architect, shaping reality according to the divine design. In the realm of Hermeticism, the adept is not a passive observer, but an active participant in the co-creation of reality. Invocation and evocation are the tools through which the adept calls upon and commands the energies of the cosmos. Through focused intent and ritualistic practices, the adept establishes a channel of communication with higher realms, invoking the assistance of divine forces. Evocation, on the other hand, is the art of calling forth and directing specific energies to manifest desired outcomes in the material world. By understanding the vibrational frequencies of these energies and aligning them with their intentions, the adept becomes a masterful conductor of cosmic forces. The power to evoke change in accordance with one's will becomes a hallmark of the Rosicrucian adept's command over reality. With the foundation of hermetic wisdom and the navigation of the inner cosmos laid bare, we now stand at the threshold of mastery, a realm where the adept's understanding of reality becomes a potent force for transformation. The Rosicrucian teachings culminate in the revelation of the alchemist's reality, where the adept transcends the ordinary and steps into the extraordinary. In the alchemist's reality, the adept embraces the dance of dualities, recognizing that light and shadow, creation and destruction are integral aspects of the cosmic symphony. The Rosicrucian teachings guide the adept to harmonize these polarities within themselves, transcending the limitations of duality to attain a state of equilibrium. This harmonization is not a passive acceptance of opposites, but an active engagement with the forces at play. By understanding the interplay of opposing forces, the adept gains the ability to navigate the complexities of life with grace and purpose. The dance of dualities becomes a source of strength, allowing the adept to wield the alchemical forces of creation and transformation. At the heart of the alchemist's reality lies the concept of the philosopher's stone, 
a symbol of the adept's ability to transmute the leaden aspects of existence into the golden essence of divine realization. This metaphorical stone represents the culmination of the alchemical journey, where the adept transforms not only themselves, but the very fabric of reality. The philosopher's stone is not a physical substance, but a state of consciousness attained through the mastery of hermetic principles. It is the key to unlocking the mysteries of creation, allowing the adept to mold and shape reality according to their divine will. In the hands of the Rosicrucian adept, the philosopher's stone becomes a tool for the transmutation of base experiences into spiritual gold. In the alchemist's reality, time is not a linear progression, but a fluid and malleable essence. The adept transcends the constraints of past and future, entering the eternal now, the timeless realm where all possibilities converge. Mastery over time is not about manipulating external clocks, but about attuning to the rhythm of the cosmic heartbeat. In the enchanting world of the alchemist, the idea that time is not a straightforward line, but a flexible and changeable essence invites us to ponder the nature of existence itself. This concept finds its roots in ancient philosophies and mystical traditions that perceive time as more than just a sequence of moments ticking away on a clock. One way to understand this notion is to picture time as a flowing river rather than a straight highway. Just as a river can twist and turn, sometimes doubling back on itself, time too can bend and curve in unexpected ways. This perspective challenges the conventional view of time as a rigid structure, unfolding step by step in a linear fashion. The origin of the belief in non-linear time can be traced back to ancient cultures that saw time not as a finite resource, but as an eternal dance. For them, the past, present and future were interconnected, forming a grand tapestry where every thread played a crucial role. In these ancient traditions, time was cyclical, repeating patterns and rhythms like the seasons, creating a sense of continuity and harmony. Furthermore, many ancient societies observed celestial bodies, such as the sun, moon and stars, to understand the passage of time. These celestial events, with their cyclical patterns, influence the idea that time is circular rather than strictly linear. The cyclical nature of time was mirrored in rituals, ceremonies and myths that reflected the cosmic order and the interconnectedness of all things. Through the application of hermetic principles, the adept gains the ability to influence the unfolding of events, bending the arc of time to align with their intentions. The past becomes a source of wisdom, the present a canvas for creation, and the future a realm of infinite potential. The adept stands at the nexus of time, a master of their destiny. As mastery unfolds, the Rosicrucian adept realizes that the true purpose of wielding the forces of hermetic wisdom is not for personal gain alone, but for the betterment of humanity. The adept becomes a custodian of cosmic harmony, a beacon of light in a world veiled by illusion. Service to humanity becomes the noble calling that transcends the ego and aligns with the greater cosmic plan. The responsibilities of mastery extend beyond the manipulation of reality to the upliftment of consciousness. The adept, now a bridge between the spiritual and material realms, guides others on the path of self-discovery. Through teachings, example and compassionate action, the adept becomes a catalyst for positive change in the collective consciousness. As we conclude our exploration of the Rosicrucians' hermetic teachings to control reality, we find ourselves at the crossroads of mystery and revelation. The adept, having navigated the depths of hermetic wisdom, emerges as a master of the alchemist's reality, a reality where the dance of dualities is embraced, the philosopher's stone is wielded, time is mastered, and service to humanity becomes the highest calling. The journey into the heart of the Rosicrucian legacy is an invitation to unravel the secrets of existence, to dance with the cosmic forces that shape reality. It is a journey that transcends the ordinary, inviting the seeker to embrace the extraordinary potential within. 
As we stand on the threshold of the unknown, let us open our hearts and minds to the unfolding mystery. For in the embrace of hermetic wisdom, the adept discovers the keys to unlocking the limitless possibilities that lie beyond the veil of illusion. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel.